racial trauma to the COVID-19 pandemic, people of color face a growing need for mental health services. Yet the numbers show they are less likely to seek out that help. In tonight's Project Community Report, KATV News Watch 7's Delon Dillard investigates the disparities and introduces us to the Omaha mental health heroes trying to bridge the gap healing mind, body, and soul. In the midst of Omaha's predominantly black community, sits the Center for Holistic Development. Inside, you'll find Doris Moore, founder and certified professional counselor. She says opening her doors, specifically in North Omaha, was intentional. I recognized that there were behavioral health services being provided, but none that really addressed the needs of the African American community. Moore has offered mental healing for nearly 20 years. Her nonprofit serves everyone, but especially her nearby neighbors, people of color. As an African American, we have so much trauma in our in our history. We have uh, racism that is a trauma within itself that has gone so unrecognized by everybody for the most part. With painful images of police brutality flooding social media, protests erupting across the nation, I can't breathe. and people of color battling COVID-19 at disproportionately higher rates. Some would think the black community would be reaching out for those mental health resources, but the numbers show they are not. According to the American Psychiatric Association, only one in three African Americans who need mental health care will actually receive it. And the most recent numbers show that of more than 32,000 Nebraskans seeking community-based services, just 8% were black, compared to 72% white. One reason behind that, the number of black people working in the field is minuscule, making up just 4% of the psychology workforce. And that often leads to the black community turning to the church for help. But meet Donna Stewart. Just as pastors are called to preach, I feel being a therapist or a psychologist was actually a calling on my life from, from God. She is part of that 4%, working as a psychologist at Boys Town Behavioral Health, specifically serving black and brown people in their North and South Omaha offices. Her goal is to destroy the stigma of therapy in the black community and relate to her clients. What stigma would you say is, is, is labeled on, on mental health for the black community? So there's the stigma of, you know, um, so lack of a better word, I don't like to use this word, but to appearing as if you're crazy. Um, stigma that there's something seriously wrong with you. I can move a little bit faster in a uh, therapeutic situation knowing that that person that is working with me has some level of understanding of what background I come from, what my environment is like. An important reminder of why women like Doris and Donna are needed to break barriers and break through to those who need help. People that say, if I had known that therapy was this easy from the standpoint of engaging, then they would have come a long time ago. Reporting in Omaha, Delon Dillard, KETV News Watch 7.